tonight with more on how this will all work. Well, Cody, as you can imagine, a lot of people are excited about this. One owner I spoke to compared it to Christmas Day, and the waxing center and the hair salon you see behind me here have been waiting anxiously in the wings for weeks, as many people have. But when I was out in this salon you see behind me here, their phone started instantly going off, people waiting to get an appointment. But there's a few things you need to know before heading back. Kept away for nearly two months because of an invisible enemy. Hairstylists come Monday will be allowed back into studios to do what they do best. It's been really hard because when that's part of your calling and it's part of who you are, um, it feels like part of you has kind of been stifled or uh, put on reserve or on hold. Governor McMaster lifted his orders, giving the green light to the following businesses. Barber shops, hair salons, waxing salons, nail salons, tattoo and massage parlors, and tanning salons. And financially, the announcement serves as a huge sigh of relief for many in the industry. Pretty much every hairdresser was denied unemployment. PUA has, has gone through for some people, which is awesome, but a lot of hairdressers, we don't look for a handout. We're hard workers and we want to do what we do and do it well. Gearing up to reopen, Joy Gingrich, owner of Radiance Hair Studio, says this pandemic has shown a cut goes well beyond just a pair of scissors. To make them feel loved and seen and heard and to feel beautiful. Honestly, like just inside and out. State health officials will require workers to wear a face mask and extra precautions will be taken by each salon. Our safety sanitation standards, it's the same code as hospital grade. That's what our state board is requiring us to have on a daily basis. So moving forward, I think there's just gonna be more time in between clients coming. There's a certain appreciation that wasn't there before, showing how the world relies on one another and the beauty industry is no exception. People trying to cut their bangs at home or color their hair, do anything. Just picking up scissor or a uh, clipper uh, is a lot more difficult than what you think it is to do yourself. And Governor, Governor McMaster says should, salons should only do by appointment only so people are not waiting um, around each other. Be sure to space out during that time and workers should always wear face masks. Salon owners tell me to try to keep that patience that you had during the pandemic. They're trying to fit a lot of clients in in a very short period of time. For now reporting live in Greenville County, I'm Shelby Mean, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.